Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Tonight we're doing a night run to Santiago Peak. Uh, we're heading out with Overland 4 Low and What's Productions. You know the drill. Overland 4 Low can be found on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram, where Jeff at uh, What's Productions is primarily on YouTube. For tonight, we have 11 or 12 rigs. Some of us met on the freeway, or just off the freeway. Others met us right here at the trailhead where we did air down. The road here is not too difficult. It is bumpy and rocky, so uh, airing down is primarily for comfort, not because you need it uh, to crawl over rocks or anything. Because this is an easy trail, most uh, two-wheel drives and four-wheel drives, all-wheel drives, as long as you get the clearance, uh, can handle it pretty easily. The first part of the trail is actually still paved. There are quite a few potholes on it, so do be careful. Um, but about a mile in, maybe a mile and a half, you get into the dirt. Uh, you'll come across this curve and it starts going uphill. And uh, as you can see in the video, you start kicking them up quite a bit of dust. Most of the trail is fire road with some extra bits of gravel and whatnot. Pretty easy, pretty uneventful. About two thirds of the way through the trail, you do get to this playground area. Now the great part about this particular area is that there are all sorts of different lines you can take. Some are extremely easy and some present a little bit more of a challenge.
after the playground it's a pretty quick trek over to the peak itself. Once you get uh, actually up to the peak itself, um, there is a offshoot here to the left. It's completely optional, but it is a little extra play area. Um, it has a few ruts on it. I will warn you that when you make this turn immediately after it, there is a dip on the right hand side, so don't get too close to the wall. I always seem to uh, bottom out there with my steps, but again, not terribly difficult, but uh, fun nevertheless. As you wait, make your way through to the actual summit, uh, you'll actually come to a spot where you can make a decision either left or right fork. The right fork is the easier road to get down to the actual vista area. You'll see that right here. I'm taking the left fork which takes you down the rutted section to get down to the uh, vista area as well. So if you have all-wheel drive, it's probably uh, recommended to take the right path. If you have four-wheel drive, the left is no problem. The view from the top of Santiago Peak is truly remarkable during the day and it's even more amazing at night and at sunset. If you have the ability to get up here, I highly suggest it. It is definitely worth uh, the view. I would suggest you hit it on a weekday like we did. This was on a Monday. I hear it can be pretty crowded on the weekends.
Big shout out to Kevin of Overland Forlo and Jeff Palma of What's Productions for uh, organizing this trip. And thank you all for watching. We'll catch you next time.